Hey, how y'all doing? Welcome to the channel. I got two golf carts. Uh, we're rebuilding both of them, but I can only start with one of them. I'm trying to decide which one it is. Melex is actually in better shape, but I know it's hard to get parts. The Yamaha, I can get parts for, but it's in pretty rough shape. Uh, and this will be my first golf cart rebuild or restore or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I think I'm going to start with the Metal X just for a good experience. Uh, and hope along the way y'all will tell me what I need to do and help me along. And by the time I get to the Yamaha, I hope to put a 48 volt in my, uh, these are both electric. I plan to put a 48 volt in this one. This one already has a 36 volt. Uh, this had a 36 volt originally, it was taken out, took us to a shop, haven't seen it since. Uh, the guy I bought it from said it was at the shop, I never could get a hold of the guy. This one doesn't have a motor, this one does. I, if you check my prior videos, one of the first videos I did was actually on this, going to test the motor, it worked fine. So I think I'm going to start with this one, just call it simplicity. I know I might have trouble finding parts. Uh, if I do, I'm sure y'all will be able to tell me what I need to do to, to either get rid of everything and put it all new in here. Uh, I know lift kits aren't big on this one. I really don't need a lift kit for this one. I'm just going to use it around the property here. Uh, this one, however, I'd like to, it's nothing fancy, but I'd like to make it fancy. Uh, 48 volt, a lift, all that, but we'll do that one as I progress and get better time. Uh, I'm going to show you the golf carts and y'all tell me what you think. Okay, the Mel X, like I said, it does have a little truck bed on the back of it. That's what I really want it for, is so I can have something just to haul around the yard here and be able to do yard work with it and stuff like that. Uh, and give me experience working on one of these things. I've never really ever messed with them much. Uh, I used to work at a maintenance place where I had to keep the golf cart. They had a couple of them. I had to keep those up, but that wasn't nothing. Uh, so I know a lift kit on these are real hard to find. Or you ha if you're going to do it, you're going to have to build your own. I don't have a problem with that. If somebody wants to tell me how to do it along the way, I might even put a lift on this thing and get some bigger tires and rims on it. But that is not the this on this one I just want it to go. I want it to just get around the yard. This one, however, once I get it back and get it doing, once I get this one up and running and kind of have an idea of what I'm doing, then I'm gonna come back to the Yamaha and put put some money into it. Even though you most of you probably tell me to go buy me a new one, but I enjoy working on them, so I'm gonna do it that way. But let me show you the Melex. I said nothing fancy, but uh, you see, it's gonna need all new seats. It's gonna need a lot of work in here. I said it does have a 36 volt GE motor that I do know works, as I proved in a previous video. Uh, I've already got most of the steel cut that I think I'm gonna need for this, and I'll get it welded in. Guys, I'm a do it yourselfer. I don't know how, I'm not a welder, I'm not a mechanic. I'm just a guy that likes to enjoy doing this kind of stuff. And I'm hoping y'all will help me along the way, tell me what maybe I need to do. Okay. Let's go over here to the Yamaha. Hold on, let's go back to the Melex. The Melex, I have no idea what year it is. I know it's a 512E. Um, it does have a serial number one that's been painted over. I can't quite, I know it starts, it seems like it's 216, and I can't get the rest of it. The Yamaha is a 2001. It still has the tag on it, same what year it is, and all that stuff, and the serial numbers. I got these off a guy. They had several carts that they used them on their property. They had a large farm. And uh, they also had a house at the beach. This one was a beach cart at one point, then it went to the farm. 
this thing is rusted but again that doesn't bother me I can take care of that But I'm going to put these on a couple of the forums that I'm on. I, like I said, I got on the forums once I got these to start finding out a little bit about these golf carts. Again, I do not know anything about them other than they're electric and they're 6 volts and or 36 volt and both of them are 36 volts, so I'll be using 6 volt batteries. Again, that's about all I really know. Uh, but uh, I'm going to take y'all along for the ride. Haven't decided how much money I'm going to put in yet. I believe I'll just get this one up and running and make it a little bit pretty and be done with it. Uh, this, the Yamaha, however, if I can find, the, if I feel like it after I've done this one, that it's worth doing this one, the frame and all being so rusty, uh, I'll probably put some money into this. Just, just for, say I did it. But let's start with the Melax. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually uh, pull it up just a little further so I can start getting all the way around it, work on it. Uh, I'm going to get it down to... I'm going to go ahead and cut the frame, the parts out that I think need replaced. And then we'll go from there. And hopefully, my videos will get better as I get comfortable with it. This is the fifth or sixth video I think. I have no idea that I've actually put on. Um, and just like everybody else I've watched that when they first started they suck at this and I'm sure I'm going to suck at it too. So but hopefully I'll get further down the road we'll be able to do a couple of nice things. I have some other plans besides the golf carts but let's not put the cart before the horse. <laughs> Yeah, that one. Uh, so, as always, let's get at it. 